I decided to do a condo uh, recovery. I decided to use my old Impala as a test subject because it kind of needs work anyway. The lines actually reach. Just a little bit of slack on. <laughs> it's recovering a half a pound already. I think uh, we're going to do the whole shebang here. When you cover, obviously both your valves want to be open when you charge it. You only charge to the low side. Well, we'll see what happens. Uh, hopefully that can stuff we put in there, interdynamics, with some uh, leak conditioner or something. It's not going to fuck up this machine, but as I'm watching it. This thing holds one, one pound. 1.12 pounds. I don't know my fractions. They suck. The decimals. That's horrible at math. Yeah, that valve seems to be just hissing a little bit. I don't know what the deal is. But over to see, look at the pressure. The pressure is going down. I'm thinking that the low side has to go in the negatives, and then you pretty much know that it got everything. Yeah, it does five minute tests after that. And now it's pulling a vacuum on the system. I guess it should say complete when it's done. See, it was low, man. Look at that. It's not even a pound. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned it, but if I take that header out, I have really, really good uh, access to that um, compressor, but it's not going to happen in this corner. I'm going to have to stash it over here. And I have to replace the seal on that R4 on this one. We'll see what happens. Yeah, so I guess when we're at negative 30, it's pretty good. How's the oil level? Oil level is still pretty good. Always check that. I'm really thinking for like 500 more bucks, I probably should have got that other one. But they say the thing breaks the whole time with the oil injector. Had that little flat panel that moved. We had those when I worked at a, another shop down here. I never used that particular one though, but I don't know, what's better? Again, this doesn't do a leak test, doesn't do oil inject, but I have the, the, um, whatever the heck, a little adapter. Nothing came out yet on the oil drain, I guess the oil drain doesn't last, it spits it out from what I remember. Enough of this shit though, this is fun, kind of cool for condo garage I guess. Still bummed out about that, but you know, I feel a little better about it today. Yesterday, I was just ticked off. Let's see what happens. Cover at zero pounds, full ounce. So, is it gonna clean the oil or what? What's wrong with this thing? Training oil, here we go. Give me some oil. And there's no oil in the system. There we go. Fill her up, buddy. Usually a good amount should come out. No oil came out. What's wrong with this thing? Well, I can tell that part works because it's getting cold. When you pull a vacuum on the system and you cover it, usually it's colder. Even the high, high side's cold. Why did no oil come out though? It said the other day I put like two ounces of oil on it. Unless it all stayed in the receiver dryer and there was no oil in the actual refrigerant. It doesn't make sense to me. Usually, when I was recovering it, and it was like an ounce came out. I don't get this. The next step is we're probably going to charge it up just to see if the freaking thing works. Covered, vacuum, charge it. We added oil, like two ounces. So the container, as always, you know, the other day. We'll see in six minutes. Then I can take a shower and put some pants on. That's just funny though when you look in here and I see this shit. Again, the other model, I'm still like second guessing it, but I think they say the keypad breaks on it. But again, I wasn't going to use this shit much. You got an automatic valves. Uh, vacuum leak test and they don't make it anymore because the other machine is government controlled it has um, activation codes and all that shit it's crazy I don't want that I just wanted something simple we'll just do the job I don't know is this better than what they had 
1994, 1995, probably. Oh, I knew this already. I was gonna add it to my little speech, but anytime you do this too, make sure you have like valves on hand. And you start screwing with the system, especially an older one, it starts leaking. I know the low side valve, it's a little Schrader valve. It doesn't seat quite well in this car. It was leaking out of my truck like two years ago. But luckily the shop was nice. They hooked me up for a real cheap deal. They sucked it out. I gave them a valve, put it in the side of the shop, done. But uh, this high side valve too also leaks. So that's something to consider. When anytime you do something like this, make sure you have valves in hand. And look at that receiver dryer, it's like icing. That is weird. See, this machine sucks, so I don't remember a receiver dryer ever icing that much when I was recovering refrigerant. Maybe it could be just ambient hot temperature here. Last time I was doing this, it was probably like a nice 70, 80 degrees. Here it's way hotter than that. I don't know. I don't know. This is weird, this injector. Can't see my light. But uh, we just charged this thing up. Somewhat cold, I guess. Yeah, this thing's weird. I'm not too fond about this, uh, the charge sequence on this. I wish I kind of got the automatic one, it was foolproof. Yeah, definitely it blows cold. I replaced the valve that was leaking on it. I sucked all the shit out. Pulled the vacuum. Added more oil to it. My compressor's quiet, I think there's oil in the system. I don't know. Well, we gotta turn this off because we're getting asphyxiated. I wanna knock out this car. We'll figure it out if it works on this. I can go try to replace a valve on that one. <laughs> Alright, let's go turn this off. This thing like stinks horribly. Definitely works though. Is it 86 degrees outside? Got that orifice too. This is what I don't get though. Alright, uh, let's do a charge, okay. Equalizing hose shit. Charge equal, display, okay. You so much equalize the hose, start, yes. Okay, did that. Disconnect high side hose, okay. Open panel valves and start AC. Did that. High side hose must be removed from the vehicle. Okay, that assumes that that hose is off. You know, low side hose will stay on, yes, that was. Has a low side coupler open. So hose is on, low side open, coupler, coupler, that's screwed down, open, okay. Open both panel valves, open both, so that's going to be both, high and low. Place the vehicle in gear and park, neutral with the emergency brake on. Um, you have the gear select and park in neutral, yep. Start the vehicle, AC suit max, do that, St press yes to equalize the hose, move one, high side low heads. Less than 40 psi. Okay, did that. This allows the vehicle. Yeah, clearing the hoses, that's what gets me too. I don't know, it seems to work though. I'm wondering now if when I recover. Refrigerant, maybe oil will come out now. Maybe. This compressor was leaking or slinging oil for a long time. I don't think it was till 8 ounces. Or then I'm thinking when it was like almost dead, I used a uh, 16 ounce can and I uh, can charged it. That was like 2012, I think. Yeah, 2012, yes. And the car's pretty much been sitting since then. Long time. Uh, yeah, so I did that. And who knows what happened to the AC oil. If the AC oil, you know, is mixed together with the refrigerant. Plus, you know, the receiver dryer usually has a bunch. And the compressor has a bunch. Where did that oil go? Here's one for you. This vacuum pump oil is a lot clearer. See what happens in the bottom? is like shit in the bottom of it. Why the heck is that? I'll tell you what did happen. I pulled a vacuum when uh, the system was evacuated. 
and um, I'm thinking when I pulled the vacuum there was some oil in the uh, system on the low side I'm thinking that oil got sucked up through this hose and now it's in the vacuum pump what do you think it kinda looks like UV dye oil or AC oil it's mixed in with it. This stuff was like super clear and now it's all cloudy. Well, that's something interesting. Shall we drain it and refill it? I kind of don't like the way that looks. I was kind of anal about my machine. No, I'm not work. This isn't a shops thing. This is my machine. But yeah, it doesn't look right, right? It should be like clear like that all over it like it was and now I can't even see those little dots. UV dye got sucked into it? Or AC oil? Maybe, when it's pulling a vacuum. The accumulator is filled with oil on these things. That's interesting.